Hello peaches, welcome to today's video. So this is the first video of August because I've never done anything special for my birthday, but my birthday is in August. I am a Leo. My birthday is on August 19th and this year I'm turning 23. So I am someone who I really like to celebrate the entire month and I like to just fill the month with things that I love. I thought it would be fun to kind of take a pause on all the interior design stuff that we usually do, all of the reviews, all of that stuff, and do something a little bit more personal for the month of August. I don't usually do too many things on here that are like personal because usually I'm just like don't see why you guys would really care. But I like to know more about the people that I watch and so I thought that August would be a fun time to let you guys watch me get to know me a little bit better and celebrate my birthday this month. So all month long, we are going to be doing Zodiac themed videos. I would like to preface this month and I will say it at the beginning of every video this month, I'm not an astrologer. I don't know a lot about the Zodiac at all. I've always kind of thought there was validity to it, but I've never taken the time to really educate myself on it, but I would love to learn more and so I thought, a way that would be really fun for you guys to get to know me but also a way for me to learn a little bit more about myself based off of my sun sign and it just gives me an opportunity to create some fun videos that are not always educational but more personal so i hope that you guys like these videos if you do maybe it's something i'll start doing more often but I have a feeling that they're going to be a lot of fun to film and I'm really looking forward to it. So anyways, to kick August off, today's video is going to be getting to know me based off my zodiac sign. I'm basically just going to read about the Leo. If you are a Leo, then this would be great for you to learn a little bit more about yourself. If you have any Leos in your life, this will help you get to know them a little bit better. Yeah, you get to know me a little bit better. I'm going to read them to you and tell you what I agree with and if there's anything that I don't agree with and just share a little bit about myself. Okay, so Leo characteristics and personality traits. A Leo personality is characterized by inborn leadership qualities. Okay, so I would definitely use leadership as one of my like top five traits to put on a resume, but definitely just in my normal life, I definitely like to take control, to lead, I'm very comfortable in leadership positions. I'm not a sheep, I don't follow the crowd. I definitely do my own thing. So that is the most true thing and it's the first sentence. These individuals prefer to be in authority positions. Okay, like I just said, career-wise, I definitely wanna be an authority in terms of owning my own business. A lot of people say I could be bossy. I just have a vision and I wanna make it happen and I have strong opinions. They are known to be proud and egotistical individuals who like to protect whatever they think is their own. Okay, yeah, I definitely like to protect what is mine. Um, I'm very protective. I'm not the best sharer. I wish I was a better sharer, but I'm not. Um, I'm very proud of my accomplishments. I don't think that I'm super, super, super. I don't think that I'm super egotistical, but maybe I need to self-reflect. Maybe I am, I don't know. Um, no one's ever like said to me, like, you have a huge ego. I usually, you know, I probably have a big ego, but I'm, I am willing to say I'm sorry if I'm wrong. I just don't think that I'm wrong often. <laughs> Ambitious nature, Leos like to lead a luxurious life for sure have expensive tastes. They're social animals and like to hog the limelight. I'm very social. I'm fine with being the center of attention. But if there is someone who needs the attention more than I am, I don't have a problem taking a step back. Some of the adjectives used to describe them are ambitious, dominant, courageous, positive, strong-willed, self-confident, and independent. Constantly seeking challenges and living an extraordinary life are the defining characteristics of a Leo personality. Their habit of seeking challenges is what makes them successful in life. I agree with every single thing that that just said. I'm sure a lot of people in my life would use those descriptive words to describe me. Now those are not all pos- I mean strong-willed is positive but also can be a flaw so a lot of my personality traits I feel like are very good but in moderation. 
and in the right time and place, which is probably something I need to <laughs> work on a little more. If you're dating a Leo or if one of your friends is a Leo, you can probably agree. I know my boyfriend would agree with everything that that just said. Straightforwardness, okay. I don't even need to read anything. I am not trying to play games. I'm not trying to beat around the bush. This is who I am, whether you like me or you don't, I don't care. I very much care about the opinions of people close to me, but I'm gonna tell you how it is, and I'm sorry if it hurts your feelings. I don't know, I just think that being straightforward and honest is better than lying. Like, it's not helping anyone to lie. Mincing words is not in the nature of a Leo. They speak their mind and like to express their thoughts clearly. Also, I cannot hold my tongue. Like, if something is bothering me, I have to say it. Especially when it comes to like my boyfriend or my mom or like my friends. Like, if I'm upset about something, if I'm happy about something, if I realistically have a thought, I have to say it. Frankness is therefore one of the biggest strengths of the Leo. It is because of their straightforwardness that they are able to confront opinions and thoughts they do not approve of directly. This is also one of the reasons why they get things done fast. Yes, so I don't play games, like I said, so I get things done fast for sure. Not everybody likes that. Some people are a little more gentle and they don't like being told things so directly, but those people really shouldn't be in my life and I shouldn't be in those people's lives because we just don't mesh right. I have the best intentions, but I can come off mean and I don't ever mean to be, but I'm just telling you how I think and what I feel. <laughs> Creative and organized. For sure, I wanted to start an organizing business, but other people are not organized and that drives me crazy. I wanna help them, but they just like wanna keep everything and it's like, throw your shit out. So maybe we'll do that in the future, but I love to be organized. Everything in my house has a place. My roommates don't love it because they're not as meticulous as I am. And I'm very creative. Every single thing that I do, I want to start businesses, but they all are creative. I just want to create. If I don't create for a long period of time, we got a problem. Like, the positivity starts to go away. <laughs> Being creative helps Leos to come up with innovative ideas for tackling tough situations. A Leo doesn't care stirring up a calm and seemingly dull atmosphere a little bit. To think and act big is one of the specialties of Leos. I do, I'm a dreamer, but not a dreamer of like, a fantasy like I have big ideas ask my mom I literally call her once a week with a new idea it is not just their overpowering personality which makes Leo's good leaders they are actually very organized in the way they execute their work okay so that's my logic I'm telling you what to do but I have a lot of logic behind it so to me it makes sense and if you can present a way of doing things that is more logical all for it go for it but usually my way is the best way but I'd never want to overpower you. Like if you have something to say, I want to hear you and I want to be a good listener, just have support to back it up. A charismatic personality and loyal nature. The charismatic personality and courteous nature of Leos helps them to create an aura around them which, which helps them make loyal supporters. It is not just that Leos demand loyalty only from others. <laughs> In fact, these people are themselves loyal to their friends and close ones. So. At the beginning of this, I said, I don't care what you think of me, here I am, like it or not. But once you come into my circle, my very close-knit circle, then I very much care about how you see me, your opinions of me, and I very much care about protecting. Like I said before, I protect what's mine, and so, not that humans are mine, but like my friends or my boyfriend or my family or my loved ones, I very much am going to be the person who shows up at 4am to pick you up or the person who sits with you in the hospital the whole time. Like I'm very much that person that once we're together, I will stick by your side. Faithful partners and good friends. Leos are romantic and passionate lovers. They are faithful partners and exhibit extreme sensitivity while in a relationship. See, once you're in my, like, once we have a relationship, then I'm sensitive. But only once you've broken into that circle. This is also the reason why they are vulnerable to getting hurt. Thus, Leos need to find someone whom they can trust before they shower their love and kindness on that person. Once I have that person, you, like, holy cow, I will shower you with love and kindness and 
Maybe a little too much? One of the special traits found in Leo's is helping friends in need. See, 4 a.m., I'll be there. Behind all the aggression, ego, and other domineering personality traits of a Leo lies a sensitive heart which cares for the dear ones. Leos take pride in protecting their close ones and would do so with all the energy and wit they possess. It is observed that the bossy exterior of Leos often eclipses their sensitive nature. So that is me to a T. I am very tough on the outside, but I care a lot about those close to me. A Leo woman is always the center of attention in a group, and the qualities like liveliness, beauty, elegance, sens sensuality, and anguity describe her the best. They are known for being kind-hearted and eager to help others. Courage and willpower are the important traits of Leo women, and they prefer to be remembered as achievers. Now, my negative traits <laughs> has quite a few. Great. The Leo compensates for most of the negativity with their courteous nature and big heart. The Leo's tendency to dominate can have a negative influence on, other, on others, like I said. Impatience. <laughs> that is my biggest negative thing. My biggest flaw is I am an impatient person. Holy cow, I cannot wait for anything. I got a long way to go. This trait of Leo gets reflected in their habit to get things done fast. Yeah, I just wanna like move, 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 always gotta be doing something, cannot chill, cannot slow down. I literally act like I've been on four cups of coffee when I don't drink coffee. If I drink coffee, it's like I did drugs, it's a little crazy. So if you're like a chill, like I'm vibing type of person, like we're not friends. Like you're cool awesome to you maybe we can hang at a party but like I move a lot I'm fast-paced I get shit done let's go if it takes you a long time to get shit done it's not it when I have businesses the people who move slow will not work for me it's just not a thing impatience may lead to the development of anxiety and restlessness in these individuals yeah like I pack for my trips a week before I leave and if I have to wait till like last minute I get very anxious because it's like, why would I not just do it now, you know, and get it done? I was never a procrastinator in high school. You know the type of person I was? They gave you a school project that you had like six weeks to do. I would do it on the first day or two. Like, I would go home that day and start working on it because those people who waited till the last night, it's like, you just wasted so much time. Like, I, and that whole time you knew it was there, it was in the back of your head and you just didn't do it. I was the type of person who I would go home and get it done and then for the next five and a half weeks, I didn't even have to think about it because it was done. Also, as I'm an adult now, I'm like responsible for myself and no one else. I can't blame anything on anyone else, you know? If I don't get something done, like, anxiety. Leos may exhibit a possessive nature. This trait is closely related to the jealousy they exhibit. In fact, they are jealous because of their possessive nature. I actually would kind of disagree. Like, I'm not a jealous girlfriend. I'm very okay with being at a bar and like not being next to my boyfriend. And he, even if he's like talking to another girl, I am not getting jealous. If you do something wrong, then I'll be upset, obviously. In terms of life, I feel like when you think of the word jealousy, you're like, I don't want them to have it. I'd say I'm jealous in the terms of if I see something that someone else has that I want, I'm jealous in terms of I want that too and it's like, I'm not working hard enough, why don't I have that yet? And it's more of like a self-reflection, like, girl, you're not meeting your standards, you're not doing enough, you need to work harder instead of I'm like mad that they have it. Does that make sense? So I'm not like jealous of someone for having it. I just changes my goals, I guess. Like, it's like, I see that, I want it. That's my new goal. That's more of the jealousy, if that's even the right word, you know? Leos don't like being challenged. They tend to retreat into their shell when being questioned. Not true at all. Challenge me for sure. I'm okay if someone else is right. By all means, if, your, if what you're saying is logical, you can take the win. I will admit that I'm wrong, for sure. I don't mind being challenged. I actually like when someone can 
come to me with support to their claim and we can have a debate. I actually really like that. And I use a lot of logic, so if I'm making a claim, there's support behind it, so I don't mind if I'm challenged. The only thing that I would say is maybe true is like, if someone comes at me and questions my integrity or who I am as a person and tries to say that I did something wrong, not that I like, not that my opinions or beliefs are wrong, but that I did something wrong, then I would retreat because I feel really bad about it. But I don't think that's really being challenged. I think that's something else. Like, if I hurt someone unintentionally, I like really cave in on myself because I feel really bad because my intentions are always really good. Wow, I like kind of have like a lump in my throat even saying that because. <laughs> I really hate hurting people. Leos can do good by keeping aside their pride and by admitting their mistakes if need be. If need be, I will do so. There are a few people in the world who can match the Leos in terms of courage, mental strength, and achievements in life. Leos are meant to rule the world. Well, that is a big compliment. That's what we're going for. All right, so moving on, that was the whole chart explaining the overview of what a Leo is. Now, I just wanted to read a few other things about specific areas like relationships and money and all of that stuff. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna read is the career for a Leo. So teaching is a great career choice for Leos who love a particular subject area and want to pass on their knowledge to the next generation. I will never be a school teacher, no thank you. But I do love teaching and when I first was told I should be a teacher a long time ago. I was like, you want me to go work in a school with kids? I'm gonna pass on that, but that's not the type of teacher I need to be. I need to be a teacher where I'm sharing education and that's what I like to do here on YouTube. I have a lot of ideas for the future where I'll create courses and knowledge I have. I want to share that with other people. I think that I can explain things in a way that people will understand and agree with. You know, it said earlier too that I'm creative, so I need to be like a creative teacher. And that's all I want to do. I also really think that teaching is much better than doing. Like that whole idea of teaching a man to fish instead of catching the fish for him. Because I would rather share with you what I know so that you can do it moving forward instead of me just coming in and doing it for you. Okay, so moving on to how Leos are with their money. So Leos have a taste for the good life. I definitely do, for sure. They can be impulsive with their money. To an extent, I'm not gonna go like buy a $5,000 purse, but like if I'm at Target and I see a vase that I need or I'm at like a thrift store, then yes, but I feel like it's like not that bad. I'm impulsive with purchases that are less than like $50. I'm not impulsive with purchases that are big purchases. Like I'm not gonna go out and buy a car just because it's a good deal. Like I'm gonna be smart, you know? They're also rather ambitious and competitive and generally quite competent when it comes to their finances. Yeah, so I don't even question whether I'm gonna have a lot of money. Some people like say that they don't really mean that, you know? They're like, well, I hope. No, I don't hope. I know, I know. That's how it's gonna be. I have big goals, I'm great at saving. I'm not competitive, like I don't need to have more money than someone else. I'm not looking at anyone else's bank account. I don't care about being the wealthiest person on the block. I don't care about having the nicest car or the nicest house compared to other people. But I have very big goals for my personal self and what I want. And I'm very smart about money. I know where to splurge and where to find deals. I'm very good at finding deals. I'm very good at having nice things for inexpensive. And I'm very resourceful. So that's what I'm gonna say about myself. I'm very proud of that. Saving money can become an issue for Leos given their generous nature. I'm not great at sharing. I'm not someone to donate money, like kind of ever but I am the person who donates time. So, I mean, time is money. Moving on to how Leos act after breakups. <laughs> so, if you are dating a Leo, 
listen up because this is the inside scoop on how your partner is gonna take the breakup if you don't see a future with them okay simply put Leo's love to be in love if that is not the most true thing that I've ever heard I love to be in love I don't just give it to anybody but once you enter that circle I love to be in love but when the flame begins to dim and a Leo senses that a relationship is spiraling, they try to protect their pride by doing the dumping. Yes. If I am in a relationship and the guy is not into it, is not fully invested, is not pouring their whole selves into the relationship for an extended period of time and I have to question anything, it's not, that's like, I have too high of standards to allow that to happen so I will give you 110% but the second you start to pull away I'm like oh all right you're not interested peace like if I can sense that you're you've lost interest I'm not gonna sit around and wait for you to break up with me like nope if I can sense that you're done putting in effort I'm done like I'm not gonna sit around and waste my time like why would I do that they can usually bounce back fairly quickly from breakups they initiate. <laughs> um, yeah, I would say that I do bounce back pretty quickly. I am not someone who like mourns or sits around depressed. Like, I think that if a relationship is over, it's because something wasn't working. And so, as we've heard all throughout this video, like I don't like to waste time. I like to get things done. So. I'm not going to sit here and like cry over the past over things I can't change. I'm going to cry because I miss you and I'm sad, but I'm going to move on and I'm going to be on to the next thing. And that doesn't mean on to the next guy. That kind of just means like, all right, I'm not pouring myself into you, so I'm going to be pouring myself into myself and working towards bettering myself and what's the next thing that I can work on. That's me when I get broken up with or when I break up with someone. <laughs> So now to end this off, this one is about 2020, the year that we are in and we're eight months in and this is how my year has supposed to have gone and how it will go the next five months. So it says, is 2020 a good year for the Leo? In general, having an optimistic mindset, Leos will have pretty good luck in 2020. They never give up easily no matter how challenging and difficult the problem is. With positive mental outlook and state, Leo will bring positive energy and good mood to friends surrounding them. Obviously, the world is like crashing and burning all around us in 2020 for everyone. Does that mean it's a bad year? Individually? No. Does it mean that the world kind of sucks right now? For sure. But I would say that 2020 was has been so far pretty good in terms of I got a house that I really freaking love. I have a healthy relationship that I'm happy in. I have very few friends, but good friends that are in my life. I am accepting friend applications. If you think we would be good friends, let me know in the comments. Shoot me a DM on Instagram and maybe we could be friends. This year, after spending the past three years really confused as to what I want to do with my life, this year I've gotten some major clarity on that. So for me, that's a huge win. I, so far, it's been good in that sense. I've had a lot of time to be creative and to execute my visions. You gotta live in gratitude and you gotta have positivity. So there is light in everything. I know this video was a little bit long, but I wanted to cover all of it. And I hope that this really gave you some insight on who I am as a person, who all Leos are. And if you have a Leo in your life, maybe some insight onto them. Or if you're a Leo, maybe some insight on yourself. And yeah, I'll link as many of the websites as I can below so you can read about yourself, whatever sign you are. I hope that you guys like this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up down below and hit subscribe to see more of me. If you guys want to support me for my birthday, it would really mean the world to me. We have a lot of really fun Zodiac 
videos coming up this month. If you'd like to see those, then turn on the bell notification down below to get notified every time I post so you don't miss any of them. If you could share this video or any videos on my channel that you like with your friends, and hopefully we can grow our peachy family a little bit more. As always, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next week. Bye!